And now for something a little bit different, we're doing an unbagging. You may have seen several to hundreds, um, probably not that many, several to tens of unboxings for the brand new Peak Design Everyday Backpack. But I just went on a two day trip, two night trip and to Vegas and I wanna show you what I packed in the bag. I dressed casually, which kind of got me in trouble because some of the people were dressed in suits and I kind of didn't look that great, but that's a whole other story. Uh, but I had everything I needed in the everyday backpack. I did not take an extra bag with me. This is the 30 liter version. Uh, I don't know how small the 20 liter version is. It's probably about that big. Uh, but let me show you what I took with me. Uh, first thing I want to do is get the dirty clothes out of there and take them to the wash. So you pull the handle down. If you've looked at any of the Peak Design videos, you'll see how to do the unlatching. Sorry about my dirty clothes, but I gotta get those washed. So let's get to all the goodies on the inside, but let's cover the back first. I actually had received at I was in Vegas because of the road event, and part of the thing, they gave us this really amazing book. Uh, you can see that it's a really thick, really nice book. It's about the 50-year history of road. Uh, and I didn't want to take up, like, my whole backpack on the way home, and now I can't get it in the box, but you get the point. So I actually just used the luggage pass-through that's right here on the back in order to make that happen. So um, there's a little Velcro thing so it sticks down. It also gave me a tiny little bit of uh, extra lumbar support as I was carrying it, which was kind of interesting. Uh, found this to be very, very comfortable. The adjustments, if you've seen all the other videos, they work really, really well. You can raise and lower the um, arm straps shoulder straps very easily by simply doing this. Very handy to change the height. Uh, it's quite easy to make them really loose and then when you put the backpack on just pull it to your comfort level. Really love the way that works. Uh, I did, by the way, while we're on the back, um, so this is the strap that goes across your chest if you want to uh, tug those in while you're carrying a heavy load so that one side pops off that way and you just shove it in the other side. The one thing that I noticed is that it kind of turns in a little bit so that this inner area rubs, you can't see my chest, but it, it, it's not like laying flat against your chest if you're pulling really hard, it kind of tugs, it pulls this side up a little and ends up pushing in. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can figure out a different way of making that happen. Obviously, if you pulled from the underneath, that would be different, but then you couldn't take the thing off. So, I don't know. Um, I also tested out the waistband, uh, which tucks right in there. If you watch the other unbagging videos, they will show you how to uh, put those in and out. I found that very helpful to take some of the weight off of my back while I was standing in the airport waiting for the plane. Love the handles all the way around. There's handles everywhere. I did not take my keys with me because my wife drove the car, but the key ring, there's a little magnet in the back of this and it, or in the, in the uh, pocket here, and it just kind of latches there if you want it. Uh, so I had a couple of pens. Don't tell the hotel, but I stole one of their pens. And so each side has an opening, if you've watched the other videos that are out there. Um, I love the way that the zippers work. This this one zipper goes all the way around. There's just a tiny little notch here that stops it from going all the way around. But it's kind of cool that the way that works. Again, you got pockets and there's extra straps in there. I did not use those extra straps. Um, so inside on this particular side, um, I used some socks to fill in some extra space. I uh, didn't wear those, so those are still clean. Um, I took my 5D Mark IV with the Tokina 17-35 video version, which I'm going to do a review on. So if you're interested in camera gear, 
have a look at that coming up shortly on Planet ID. Very nice little lens. Uh, shot some 4K video with it. Um, the one thing I did note, and I didn't bring the grip with me because putting a grip on here makes it a lot bigger and a little bit more problematic, and I'll probably do a separate video maybe on that. Anyway, there's an extra pair of jeans that I took. Um, and you see there's the pocket, uh, the way these pockets uh, adjustments work, there's an extra flap in here for each side for, for those if you want. It gives you extra little spaces for lenses. And when we so show the other side, you'll see how that works. Um, I used a nasty clamp, uh, took that just in case I wanted to mount the camera somewhere. Uh, and I used the underneath of the bottom flap, a divider, that's what you call it. It's a divider, not a flap. Uh, but I protected it by putting it just under there so it fit by itself. I also had deodorant and a couple other things in there that I already took out. I'm sorry. Uh, so there's that. And of course, the pocket on the sides, both sides, has an additional place where you can store extra stuff. And my toiletries in a cheapy little plastic bag, like my toothbrush. And I took an extra phone in case I was going to record some video, some old, old iPhone that I have. And of course, cords. One thing I do note in my other bags uh, is that these are made of mesh. So that you can actually see inside of what's there. So if you happen to forget what you've shoved in one of these things and there's something in there. Oh, it's fingernail clippers. Um... I don't know that I want it necessarily as a mesh, but I did note that other bags that I've used did have mesh there so that you could see what's in there. This is very soft and protective, so I like that. Uh, it's kind of a toss-up on how the how how you would prefer that, um, but that's that's this side, and there's two zippers on each each side of this, so depending upon which way you want to do it, you can zip or unzip, whatever. Um, and of course there's a handle here, which is really nice if you just want to pick it up by the sides. Uh, let's try not to knock my camera off. Uh, on this side I had a plastic ba uh, plastic water bottle. It's It doesn't fit quite as well as I wanted, and there's a, another plastic bag of stuff. Um, and, oh, chocolates! Look, I found chocolates from Christmas! Woohoo! Extra goodies! So there's straps inside there, and again, that's, if you don't want the, this is where the, uh, waist be belt comes out, and you can shove that right back through here, so that it's inside there if you don't want it, or you can just take it off. Um, it's not as robust as some of the other bags I've had, but it works. Um, and so, in this side, I had my Lens Pro to Go cap, thanks to Lens Pro to Go folks. My 20, I'm sorry, my 135 f2, which is a wonderful lens. And I had my Toady cloth with me, my microfiber cloth, which I did a review on that a long time ago, and I love that. Uh, but I want to note, by the way, that on this side, Sometimes, depending upon how you have the dividers set up, you can end up with a situation like if you just want to put one lens in there, that you end up with space that you need to fill, otherwise that thing is going to flop around. So maybe carry a pair of socks with you, not dirty ones. Uh, clean socks or something that you can use to uh, fill that space if you don't want your lens flopping around while you're carrying it. And again, it just depends upon how you have your dividers set up. Um, if I had done the, the way that bag comes shift is this divider is uh, flipped down. So you have all this flexibility to change the look and the compartmentalization of it. Um, so in that particular case with the body of the 5D on that one side, and the lens on this side, I ended up with extra space, but then that meant I could pack socks and stuff like that in different spaces. And of course, on this side, I also have goodies. Um, had some 
business flyers that I want to hand out, I got snacks. So this is a, a bigger pocket on this side, a little bit bigger, uh, adjust, they're not adjustable, but they're, they're larger size, same kind of pockets that we had on the other side. And, and it, it really feels very flexible in terms of how much you can shove in there. Um, it's sturdy, it's well built, and, and I really like it so far. I'm very impressed with the way that it works. There's a couple of things that I don't quite like yet, like the straps, um, the adjustment of the strap, in terms of how the shoulder that I explained earlier. Um, oh, and I didn't show you the camera slot. I'm sorry, the computer slot. So in here, um, I have a bag, mesh bag, with my power cord, which is very heavy because it's one of the older ones. Um, I also took with me the Production House Cinema Book by Kurt Lancaster in order to read and review that. Um, nice little book if you want to set up a production commercial filmmaking business by yourself. Uh, in this pocket I also had an extra set of headphones and my old laptop, which was my daughter's laptop, which the battery died on me at like 35% and I think it's about to kick the bucket, but that's a whole other story. Uh, so I had all that gear in there, was able to do a two night trip uh, with everything in one bag. Um, I did get an extra water bottle that Road gave me and I just brought that in a little plastic bag that they gave to me. So um, I can't think of anything else that I wanted to say about my experience thus far. I like it. Um, oh, I, I mentioned the straps and how easy they are to adjust. I did that already. So if you're looking for a backpack, the Peak Design Everyday Backpack, pretty dadgum awesome. There's plenty of videos. They have a 30 minute video that explains every little nuance of every little feature that I highly advi advise you to watch if you're interested in this backpack. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how I packed and how I carried a ton of stuff on my back on a two-day trip. Thanks to the Peak Design folks for sending me this. Um, I was not compensated in any way other than they let me have the backpack to keep. Thanks for watching. This is Planet Mitch from Planet 5D. Over and out.